and she said, we got word that they were putting certain people on buses, and it made me act. But it's been somewhat confirmed. She said her emergency declaration was based on an advisory sent by Eric Adams to Suffolk County asking to support the busing of migrants. Now, of course, Steve Ballone, vapid, denied it. I I didn't know anything about it. The Democratic County, uh, County Executive, of course he knew. But he won't say that. And uh, Aguiar admitted that she had talked to me later in the day. But then she said that my reports were confirmed by various sources. She didn't want to name them. She also said that uh, a lot of the information she followed up on. Council member Tim Hubbard said in an interview that Slewa's commentary on his WABC radio show was the basis for the emergency order issued by the supervisor. Now, how he knew that information, I had no idea. But that's the information we went off of. But then he said he thinks the emergency order is a good thing to do to protect the town. It's proactive, he said. There's no harm in doing it. It doesn't happen. No harm whatsoever. It's just we want to be prepared, and we want people to know that we are not open as a sanctuary city in Riverhead or any sanctuary town. That is the process you have to take. You have to follow what the supervisor, Yvette Aguar, did in Riverhead. She took information from me, and then she went out, and she connected the dots, and then she issued her executive order, her emergency order, restricting anybody from taking illegal aliens. And if you don't do that, you're going to be screwed. Again, just look at Newhouse up in Orange County. He's like, he has become the joke of the nation. He's a Republican. Newburgh, the city where they dump everybody. You get out of prison, you go to Newburgh. It's a halfway house, it's Newburgh. You have a a drug problem, the rehabs are in Newburgh. Illegal aliens get dumped in Newburgh. It's always Newburgh, a dumping ground. It's Camden on the Hudson. Such a shame. And as a result, they kicked out veterans. Put them in the street. Because the LLC that owned the Crossroads Hotel decided to take the money from the city of New York that was guaranteed the checks don't bounce for a full year. That's the agreement. And right before the Memorial Day weekend upcoming where we honor our war dead. And please don't go around saying happy Memorial Day. Come on. These veterans out in the street. Because Steve Newhouse did not move quickly enough. Let that be a warning to all of you out there. This Adams administration is desperate. They refuse to say no. When the next bus comes in at the Port Authority, they refuse to say here. Uh, migrants, here's some uh, box lunches. You can use the facility. See it, take about an hour break. Drive it, take an hour break. Turn this rig around and go right to the White House. Go right to the Naval Observatory. This is the problem created by President Joe Biden and Vice President <laughs> Giggles Harris, who was, who was appointed, remember, the Tsarina of the illegal aliens crossing into our country, and they've done absolutely nothing. We'll make it worse, but we have some more breaking news. Yes. Breaking news. WABC. Are you paying attention in our news uh, room there, James Flippin? As you know, the film industry in New York City, for the most part, is not working because of the writer's strike. So there are a lot of productions. Uh, basically, everybody is sitting on their asses, growing barnacles on their backside. They can't work. Uh, Nobody is going to cross the uh, union of writers, their picket line, their theoretical picket line. So activity has come to a halt. The the film industry in New York City has decided that it will work with the Eric Adams administration, always looking for sweetheart deals, always looking for perks. And they're sending their location scouts, who obviously have no work to do, as long as the writer's strike is underway, to look for spaces for the illegal aliens. Now, you figure they got vacant sound stages with the writer's strike. They get tax incentives that are outrageous. It's corporate welfare. So now they're sending their location scouts out 
in the film industry that is doing projects in New York City. Obviously, most of them have come to a screeching halt because of the writer's strike. And they've uh, made a deal with the Eric Adams administration. We will send our location scouts out to look for spaces wherever it is anywhere in New York State. Again, it could be north in Plattsburgh. It could be Buffalo. It could be parts of Brooklyn. It could be in the Mid-Hudson Valley. Beware. I'm telling you, Beacon. That's right, across from Poughkeepsie. Beware. They've been spotted there. I'm just, look. I'm just telling you in advance, you don't take precaution. And this mayor here in New York City, he doesn't care. You saw he was going to shove illegal aliens into Rockland County. And when Ed Day stood up to him, formerly an NYPD cop, served at the same time as Eric Adams. Ed Day was out in the street busting in his shoes. Eric Adams was a house miles hiding in the precinct. And what did he call Ed Day when he got that preliminary injunction? He called him a racist and anti semi He will call you names. He will play the race card. Don't shrink. Don't surrender. Don't do what Steve Newhouse did in Orange County. He didn't want to be called a racist. He didn't want to be. So what did he do? He allowed the buses to come. Look at the Michigan. Look at the mess there now. I hope they took care of those veterans. Because Eric Adams, he didn't give a Jack Diddley squat care for what happened to those veterans who were kicked out into the street so that he could house his illegal aliens in Newburgh in Orange County. 